Okay, so this is a dusky shark, it's just shy of six feet long, probably about 75 pounds here, okay, and a lot of people have trouble identifying a dusky, particularly distinguishing them between a uh, dusky and a sandbar shark. So the dusky shark compared to a sandbar, number one, the fin on the dusky is smaller proportionally than a sandbar shark, and the primary thing is you denote the forward edge of it, if you drew a line straight down, it would hit right here behind the pectoral fin. If it was a sandbar shark, this fin would be moved forward and originate about right here. If you drew a line down, it would hit about right here. Also, normally the dusky shark is a little bit more brown than a sandbar. Sandbar tends to be a grayer in color, and they're a bit huskier up here. A sandbar has more girth to it. Also, if you happen to feel the dusky, they've got like a slime layer on them. They're very sleek and smooth going this way. Of course, when you come across the grain, it's the denticles, the dermal denticles that make up their skin are very sharp. So it's very coarse coming back this way. And then another way to distinguish them, maybe from a, a black tip or a spinner shark, the dusky, it does have the interdorsal ridge between the first and second dorsal fin. This ridge is just this little, it's like a fold of skin right here. It's very obvious. On a spinner and a black tip shark, they do not have the ridge. It's just smooth across here. The sandbar shark does have the ridge. The duskies and sandbars both have the ridge. Also, unlike a spinner or a black tip, on the dusky you do not have the black tips on their fins here. Okay, so this is your average dusky shark.